In today's lesson, you are going to learn the definition of a function. The lesson is 4.1. The standard is 8F1. The objective is to identify a function. The essential question is, how can we model relationships between quantities? A function is a mathematical rule that takes the input and delivers an output. You can think of it like a vending machine. What goes in is the input, what comes out is the output. In a function, each input gives only one output. If it is not a function, it is called a relation. Example 1. Example 1 demonstrates this very well. So think of a vending machine. My inputs are my buttons. So if I press A3, I'm going to get a Diet Pepsi. If I press D7, I'm going to get a Mountain Dew. If I press B5, I'm going to get a Pepsi. If I press E3, I'm going to get a Sprite. If I press B2, I'm going to get a water. If I press A8, I'm also going to get a water. So for every input or each button, I'm going to get the same output every time. So that means this is a function. Example 2. Let's consider this. If I press A3, I get a Diet Pepsi. But sometimes I might press A3 and I'll get a Mountain Dew. That's going to not make it a function because the input A3 has an output of Diet Pepsi, but the input A3 also has an output of Mountain Dew. Because it has different outputs for the same input, it is not a function. Now I can complete the diagram and say D7 will give me an output of Mountain Dew, B5 will give me an output of Pepsi, E3 will give me an output of Sprite, B2 will give me an output of water, and A8 will also give me an output of water. What makes it not a function is the A3 having two separate outputs. So this is not a function. Example three, which set of ordered pairs represents a function? In a set of ordered pairs, my x's are my inputs and my y's are my outputs. I'm gonna go ahead and circle all my inputs. I have one, two, three, and four. Since all my inputs are different, they all have exactly one output. That means that set A is a function. So it is a function because each input has exactly one output. Now let's look at set B. I'm going to circle all my inputs. I have 0, 0, 0, 0. 0 has an output of 1. 0 has an output of 2. 0 has an output of 3. And 0 has an output of 4. This is not a function because each input does not have exactly one output. It has multiple. So it is not a function. because the input has multiple outputs. Example four, which table of ordered pairs represents a function? In table C, I have study time and quiz grade. So my first column will always be my input and my second column will always be my output. So my input, I have 0, 10, 15, 20, and 35. Since none of the inputs repeated, they all have their own output. Therefore, this is a function. Now on table D, my time of day is my input, and my price of a car is my output. I have an input of 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 12.45, and 10.15. I notice that 8 o'clock is being repeated twice. Does it have the same output? It has 16,000, 
and it has 17,250. Because these are different values, this is not a function. Example 5. Which graphs represent a function? Use a vertical line test or pencil test. So you're going to take your pencil and you're going to hold it vertically. You slide it across the graph. If your pencil touches the graph in more than one place at the same time, it is not a function. So I'm going to draw a line to represent my pencil for graph E. So my coordinates would be negative 5, 3 and negative 5, negative 3. The inputs are both negative 5. Do they have the same output? No. One is at negative 5, 3, and the other is at negative 5, negative 3. This makes graph E not a function. Now let's look at graph F. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to slide it. It gets steep, but it only touches it one time. So graph F is a function. Let's look at graph G. It's wavy, but it only touches the graph one place at a time. So that makes graph G a function as well. Now let's look at graph H. With the loop-de-loop, -loop, it's touching it a few different times. If I draw my vertical line, it touches it here, here, and here. So it touches it three different times. This makes graph H not a function.